Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon White 2. And in this episode, I am going to be cutting Mesprit and then going through Twist Mountain and Clay Tunnel to go do the Reggie event. So without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it. And I will also do the final spike slash rival battle and then fight um, the developer, well, battle the developer once more. But yeah, obviously, it sounds like a, well, as you can probably guess, I know what's gonna happen because the reason why I didn't do a video yesterday is because well I did do it but for some reason I checked the uh, video menu and it said that there's no videos done but then like the amount of um, data that the video used up was still like used up so it's a bit weird and I tried to fix it I couldn't so basically what I'm going to do is this video today which is supposed to be for yesterday and then do two videos tomorrow to catch back up so I'll do Borderlands 2 and then do a Pokemon White 2 and I'll do it that way and then that way I'll be going to do Borderlands 2 on the Thursday like I originally did and then Pokemon White 2 on Friday obviously I can't do much about that but never mind see yeah, autumn because literally I moved it to this because basically um when I actually did the Reggie event I could only get the first two um Regis well, I say that, but Reggie Rock and Reggie Ice. I could have get Reggie Steel, so yeah. And well, I might as well just keep all the save states that I had on before. I literally went from slot 14 to slot 9, the amount of, that's the amount of save states I make. But yeah, this took about 5-6 minutes to catch last time. Let's see if I get luckier or less lucky. <laughs> I guess you could say. So as long as no burn or crit happens, should be fine. There we go. Not much I can do about that. So obviously now I'll fast forward. It's a flame charge, that won't do much. There we go. Um so yes. The two master balls I would have used on um the other two I could have got, but I might as well just use the master ball straight on Reggie Rock. And Reggie Ice, but I actually got Reggie Rock in one Ultra Ball, and I believe Reggie Ice only took about three, four minutes. So I got, it didn't take me too long to get him. Yeah, and then what I did after that is I did the uh, final rival battle and the um, developer battle because I was told that you can actually fight your rival again and you can fight the developer again. So I did them two, and then I moved on to that white tree hollow um, because I started that because. Once I've done all this in this episode, hopefully it will save on. And basically, I'll end the episode by, um, what's the word? <clears throat> by doing the White Tree Hollow, and then the PWT, and then obviously the final episode will be Elite Four Round Two. I could, I don't necessarily have to do it in that order, but I feel like doing Elite Four Round Two should be, well, that should be the final thing we do. Anyway, yes, burnt bacon. Up you get. You use extra sensory. I'm not bothered. So obviously, um, I forgot to say, but Burn Bacon actually didn't die before, or he didn't faint before. Yeah, because I was rabbiting on, obviously just explaining. Now this is obviously like a backup thing. But yeah, I mean, I could, I could use a Master Ball and Mesh Brit in hope that I get rid of Rocky Mondo again, but I doubt that will happen. I just don't think it would. So obviously, attack harshly fell, but that don't matter. I guess I could use arm thrust to get its health there, and I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop. Four minute. Hopefully I can get it soon. What move's that? Use, oh, I'll use copycat. I ah, see. So yeah, basically, there's only three more legendaries I possibly can catch. As I said, I can't get rid of gigas. Well, I don't think you can get rid of gigas until you get the other three. This will be like that. But I, I went... I was just told that you could get him in the area, but I just didn't know how exactly how to get there. So I was told um, it's just to look for a minecart. That was the hint, and then I saw multiple minecarts. I was like, hang on, and then he told one. I didn't realise there'll be more, but yeah. <laughs> My reaction was quite funny because obviously it'd been the first time I did it. But never, mind. never mind, you don't get the thrill of it being blind because I've already done this. But never mind, as I said. <laughs> It's fine. But yeah, what I actually did is I, I left... I don't know why I did that. I should have healed up. I left um, 
most of them alive actually. Oh, what am I, what am I saying? No, no, no. I left most of the battles unattended, like in Clay Tunnel and Twist Mountain. Because what I did was, um, literally just got past, well, like, skipped all the battles by just trying to run past everybody or surf around the areas where they were and stuff like that. Because, well, there's not really much to do, well, there's nothing to do in Twist Mountain, you just get to Clay Tunnel from there, and that is it, really. So, yeah. That's that, I guess. Anyway. Boom. Of course not. I I'd like to catch it pretty quickly. <clears throat> you know? Uh, future Sight failed. That means Future Sight Attack's coming next. Go on then. Boom. 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 Yeah! A bit quicker than last time. There we go. Whoa. So obviously this is the motion Pokemon. So next... Oh, I'm just going to call it ABC. Didn't mean to do that. ABC. No. A, B, C. Boom. Right. So now obviously I'll fly... To where is it again? Right, yes, of course. Um, drift fail. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm guessing what Crash Awake said about um, him being in drift fail. I guess he meant like in the PWT. Like, uh, I was looking around, I was like, hang on, maybe he's not here. And then I was like, ah, maybe meant for the PWT. So I'm guessing there could be, I don't know. Well, I've heard you can get like gym leader ones. I'm guessing you get like. <clears throat> Kanto gym leaders, Giotto gym leaders, Hoenn, Sinnoh and Nunova gym leaders, all that stuff. That'd be interesting to see, actually. So the only safe state I will use... Oh, where am I going? I do not know. As I said, the only safe state I will use is safe state zero. Or safe slot zero. And there we go. All right, here we go. What? I heard that Team Plasma left many Pokemon behind when they fled, and I'm helping find their real trainers. That aside, since you're here, you should have a battle with me before you go. Here I come. <clears throat> so it does actually look like the White Tree Hollow could be like a big thing to do, because I said, when I originally did this video, it did take, um... Well, it took about, I think, ten minutes for the tutorial. Light area, and then you got got someone running about saying uh, you, this room is for this talk to this person and then like said talk to a nurse I healed up and then I went back just to heal up literally pee pee no HP and I was like oh my god you can only heal from a nurse once so I kept that in mind so when I do do the white tree hollow if it doesn't do that thing again if they've got to keep in mind that you can only heal up once from them obviously as I said I don't know how long that can take but it is Said to be Unova's greatest challenge, so... Oh, nearly defeated it. So yeah, I'm guessing um, it could take a while. Especially if I... Well, that, that's just stupid. Especially if I... Um... What's the word? What's the word I'm thinking of? Um... Oh, of course you would. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know how long it could take. Obviously, it could take a while due to um, what's the word? It take a while due to like failing, or it could just take a while because it's a long thing anyway. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Cause obviously, I've done it before because I've played this game to the full extent for this is the first time I have obviously it'll be a good experience to like do these two challenges of PWT and all that but it'll be good to just do it you know start fresh anyway um, I guess I'll use my explosion god I'm doing terrible today well I guess I was just unlucky with that crit 
if it, if it happens again, then it's bull crap. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to spam Hydra Pump, of course. But it does over half, so I don't know why I didn't fully heal him. Look at that, that's ridiculous. Unless I risk a rock slide, I don't know if it's going to do enough. I can try at least. Of not. Yes, 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 that was a risk, it worked. Why'd I do that? That could have missed, never mind. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. That was a risk. I got lucky there, please. Don't see after getting un unlucky. So I guess that balances it out. A bit like yin yang, you know, good evil balances it out, makes it neutral. Boom. I managed to, uh, he managed to get three arm thrust in. I was about to say, I'll probably get unlucky, so I only did two this time, but no. Did get enough in. Ooh, Flygon next. Um, it's going to be an Earthquake spammer, isn't it? I don't have to do this, but I feel like it'd be safe too, you know? Right, I'm going to fast forward this bitch. Oh, no, rocks. Oh, uh, rock. I was about to say rock forward. Fast forward. The twist man in and um play tunnel a bit because well you don't really have to see that. Not really. Because before that I actually burned the fly gun, I was like, please burn because it would weaken earthquake and it actually did burn it. And it was like amazingly amazingly timed. No, anyway, simi simi sage, simi sage, simi sage. And then the last one's the Electros. Focus Blast for some reason goes first. At all times. Oh look, I can't actually pause it, it's gone on to the other settings. Didn't actually realise that. I don't believe there'll be any reason to pause it anyway. Because I know exactly what I've got to do. So I guess you'll just have to see me last spot through the menu. I sort out the key. Uh, I like, um, put that out last time. Suppose that's it. If winning in battles is strength, then believing that your Pokemon will come back and waiting for its return is also strength. Doing what you think is right no matter what anyone else says, like these guys do, is strength too. Bank can come back tomorrow. Take you on again, that's my way of saying thanks. I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, uh, anyway. Um Kiddo well, I always use it as like cannon fodder, don't I? Probably crawl, I don't know. Anyway, why well, can't I remember where it is in Castalia? I think it's in, yeah, it's in the far end one. I want to heal up because this battle can be hard. Brings out a Lyapod that I'm guessing always uses Fake Out. As well, it's an annoying little bugger. Anyway, there we go. Heal up, heal up your Pokemon. Then go to fight the developer. Right. Here we go, here we go. The louder you scream, the faster we go. Don't know why I said that, anyway. Oh, that's a bit too far, that's a bit too far, that's a bit too far. See, as I said, I don't believe there is anything else to do. Once I've done the Reggie event. Apart from PWT, White Tree Hollow, and Elite Four Round 2. So yeah, anyway. Speed up the process. And I'm fast forward. Right, here we go. Oh, you've become strong, I can tell. Do you want to have a battle with me? Well, let's begin. So you might see, I don't, well, I'm not rushing, but because I know what to do. And I think I can remember where to go in the play tunnel. But yeah, obviously I won't bother, like, looking around, getting all the, um... Items of Kent and Clay Tunnel because there's no need to. Right. I know it might feel as though I'm just forcibly rushing through, but as I said, there's nothing. Well, there's no point looking around because there's nothing actually to do. But look there. Well, I'll just look around because, as I said, the only thing. You well, the only event that goes on in there is the Reggie event, and that's actually in Clay Tunnel itself. Well, Reggie Gigas 
is near that um, ice crystal type thing that you get in the uh, twist mount and you get it in the first I don't know if you remember what I'm on about anyway yes Murimoto has all the simmies of course you go first randomly just you know randomly goes first for no reason don't your oh. that's too much damage come on do a good amount why? Should have done what I did before. What I did last time is use flame charges. I knew it was one shot. The tactics have gone out the window. I'm gonna fast forward this process. See if I can get my like, I don't know. Singing. Uh, Giga Dream. We can just go straight to the ball east. Or I could have exploited that then. All oh, acrobatics. Flying type moves are good against bug types, isn't it? Yep. Oh dear, I'm being terrible. I need to be able to remember what I did before. I should be able to remember the tactics that I use, but I can't. I don't know. Anyway, Max Potion. Ooh. You do that. Then bacon, shift, there we go. Flame charge. Of course. You go, you go first because Burnt Bacon is slow. That's probably going to let me down in PWT now I think about it. Oh, for God's sake, stop. I thought that was going to be a crit then. And I went way too low. It's quite a lot of damage, isn't it? I guess I'll do it again. Just get that extra speed boost again. As long as I can one-shot Pokemon, I'll be fine. You see, I want to risk doing a uh, thingy, but if I die, I can't really... Yeah, that's the thing, if I die, I can't really reload. Oh, I can't do it. If I had to reload, I had to reload, because, as you can see, there's no pause button. It went on to the... Because um, you've, got, you've got basic and advanced, like, settings, like, advanced settings, just for the... Where you, you lose out on the option to pause, but it's supposed to break uh, stability. It looks like it could have. I can't tell though, but if it did, then that's a good job. Anyway, now it's down for Simi Seer and um, Simi Sage. Obviously, I've got to take out Simi Seer first. Anyway, boom. Rock slide. So, as you can see, it gets easier and easier as it progresses. It starts off hard, but it gets much easier. Because obviously, type, adv type disadvantages come up at the start. Well, not with Purloin. Uh, yeah, Purloin. Not Purloin. Um, I was it called? I don't remember now. But obviously it used to be a Purloin anyway. You think about battles very thoroughly. I lost, but I learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. Come back again tomorrow. No, but yeah, obviously you can keep on going back to them. That's 18 minutes, that's not too bad. So now it's time to do the Reggie events. going through this much quicker, Jesus Christ. I think it's much quicker, I don't know. Anyway, oh dear, don't want to make too much noise now, do we? No, anyway, time to go to Isarus. There we go, go to Isarus. <clears throat> See, I believe that is everything then. Just literally just, um, go get two of the four regs that I can put, well, because obviously, as I said, I literally like spent about five ten minutes just trying to get the key, and I used the game shark code. Well, basically, you get like a cheat, I and mean, you obviously ones to cheat the game or ones. That basically, they can't as cheat games. As I said, it's just a code to, I guess, obtain the event items that you obviously can't get anymore. But I'm just doing it to show them off. But obviously, for some reason, I kept on trying to um, get the key, and it wouldn't get it, but. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Anyway, yes, I know the route, as I said. Well, I don't remember the twist mountain bit. Well, at the start of the twist mountain bit, I believe you go down. Because I went up, and I was like, maybe you go down to that bottom one, but you don't, I don't believe. No, you do, but well, I went somewhere else completely. Anyway, so you go down. Is it down? Yeah, and then you go boom, 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 boom. 
Boom, boom, boom. Up. There we go. Up. And I believe he just wants ore. And then this, this is the, uh, there we go, the ice, I guess you could say crystal room. I don't know what that's for, but it keeps on mentioning how like, your hands get frozen solid or something when you touch it. So yeah, there's a strength puzzle up here. I guess I'll show you getting to Reggie Gigas. You might, you might have to be able to get him without getting the other three. I don't know. But obviously, because I need to try and use codes to get the um, Regis. Um... <laughs> couldn't get ready still but if it just says or if it gives you the option to just either get the key and try and catch ready still or just get ready still in your thing obviously i would have went to try and get the key so i'd catch but if it didn't actually get him i would have just used the cheat code for that but then again it wouldn't work but i don't get why it's not working because obviously as you know in platinum it did work because hang on what do i want to do here hmm one more. I think I do want to do one more, don't I? And then move up and across. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, Gigas is over there. Now, I said, I don't believe you can catch it yet. Statue of Pokemon next to Yes, there you go. As you can see, the statue. See, I showed off like getting to it, but there's no real reason to go there yet. Unless, of course, you can get steel. But if you've got like a code you can give me to try and get the keys without it being finicky and not working, that would be much appreciated, actually. <laughs> so, I believe, yeah, you go over to this one. I was like, ah, oh, this must be the mi minecart they mentioned. And I came down here, and I was like, hang on, I weren't told about another one. <laughs> and then, yeah, <clears throat> it'd have probably been funny to see my reaction, but obviously, <clears throat> can't see the original video, unfortunately. So, yeah, I believe I managed to get it like 35 minutes before, because obviously, I didn't actually know properly where to go, but I can just get here straight away. <clears throat> Literally, it's like one route because everything else is blocked off. God, the original route's blocked off. <coughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Good talk then, because... Got a bit of mucus. Trapped. Anyway, yes. I believe this is actually the only way to get here, so I don't know why the rocks here. I'm guessing it's just a force to make you have strength. So you have to have strength and surf to get here. Which I guess is a good gimmick. Anyway, I guess I'll do this now. And I guess I could go explore the tunnel, you know, a bit. I guess I could. But anyway, here's the area. So, it is... Was it six? Yeah, it's six down and nine across. I did the SSO. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So you have to do this at night, I believe, because of that like, puzzle name. Because I actually didn't know what you had to do. <clears throat> and where you had to look to get the puzzle. I actually had to look it up, but there's no shame in admitting up to that. I just did it to try and get it, because I just wanted to do it to show it off. But anyway, yes, now it's time to get ready. Rock. <laughs> Which I can catch pretty quickly. So I'll fast forward this. So this is the um, Rock Peak Chamber. Zari, Zari, Zari. So I believe the statue here, the statue just behind just says how it like protects with the power of rock and then the eyes will protect with the power of ice and this one steals protects with the power of steel. Which I can't get them to, unfortunately. But like an animation will come up in a sec to be like, you unlocked the iceberg chamber. Anyway, Arno, dos, tres, boom. Right, boom. Yeah, and you don't actually have to do a puzzle for Reggie Ice. I was expecting to have to, but I went to check. I was like, I'll go check before I do a puzzle. But anyway, yeah, Iceberg Chamber. Lovely. Whoop, whoop. So, 
So you obviously, as it said there, you can get... So I'd need Black 2 to be able to get Reggie Steel, but I can't really do that, unfortunately. Anyway, so now I'll save. And then I'll go get the key for the iceberg chamber. But first, obviously, I want to... I'll just save state, just to be safe. And obviously, I want to reset as well. Obviously, you're going to have to just have to see this. Just as I do it. Just got to wait for it to reset. When it wants to reset, of course. There we go. I was about to put them in and go fast forward then, but I don't need to. Boom, 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 boom. Just spamming A to get through it quicker. There we go. So, it's you know for linking it? Yeah, it is. Oh, key system. Here we go. Mystery door. So obviously iron chamber. <coughs> Not unlocked with the iron key. Well it's and well it's locked until you get the iron key. Anyway. So obviously I know how to get to there. So iceberg chamber. Boom boom boom. Now you have to go through this again. Obviously I did skip this out, but I can't really do that, but there's no harm in you seeing that. I doubt I'll get copyright for that. Right. Obviously it just has to remind that it's autumn again. So yeah, let's read this, shall we? Iceberg Chamber, oh, that's what it says. <coughs> See, I could have went to look at what it is, but yeah. Oh, look, it's already here. See, as I said, if um, you do know codes <coughs> to get to the Steel Chamber, I'd like to know, and I could just come back another time. Yeah, I don't know I'm doing that because he's masterful. So I managed to catch <coughs> these two in Ultra Balls because I was like, I'll keep the two Master Balls just in case I can get Gigas and Steel and I can just use it on them, but... Nah, so yeah. I guess I can use them on these two. It's probably more than likely that I won't be able to catch Gigas and Steel, so yeah, there we go, that'll do. Yes, use another. So I guess I might as well just look around now. Look around everywhere. There are many battles that you can do once you look around here properly. First, I'm going to do this. As I said, well, I did. I did apologise. Well, I did say sorry that I couldn't show it off before. Obviously, I can't really do much about that. But I will apologise and say sorry for the fact that I can't really show it off. Like I would like to have, but there's not much I can do about that. Anyway, yeah, surf around here. I might as well go for all the items, as I said. Might as well. There's quite a few dodges you can get as well. You can get good dodges in. Alright, what next? Metal coat. I believe that uh, enhanced steel type moves. As I said, I did have to do this but I felt like <clears throat> I might as well do as soon as it didn't take me as long to catch steel and gigas because I'd already um oh because I know obviously I can't get steel uh yeah I meant rock and ice because obviously I can't get steel and gigas unless things change it'd be nice if they did but yeah so obviously I'll just do battles if I can't like, into them I'm not too fussed about it but I will do it as I said just in case. <laughs> Alright, flamethrower. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't have to use flamethrower, but... Never mind, I guess. What next? Crusher. I'd like for you to burn this sun a bit, please. That'd be amazing. <laughs> no. Unless when they use sturdy, they can't do that. I don't know. Might, when they use sturdy, that might stop them from getting status effects inflicted on them as well. I don't know, that's one thing I do not know. Anyway, there we go. <coughs> bye bye, Crossle. And then Armaldo. Yeah, I did do this fight because I was like, hang on, he's the one from Gen 4. You get it in Explorers of Sky, like one of the bonus episodes that I've never done. And if I can get on that in an emulator. 
will show that off, but I feel like that type of game could be hard to get on an emulator, I don't know. I can go have a look. Obviously I won't be doing that till ages with what games I've got planned to do. Obviously, the next game I'm going to do, like, emulator-wise, is FF3. Oh, God's sake, I don't want to do this battle, never mind. <laughs> is this the area where you can use Rock Smash? I do not remember. I don't believe it is. No, it isn't, but it can go that way. <coughs> anyway, I believe I can just use Flame Charge, and it should be fine. Flame Charge. Boom. I know there's a spinning hiker as well, like one that looks in all four directions and just spins trying to catch you out. I'll try and avoid, but yeah. <clears throat> anyway, obviously I'm not rushing, but I just want to at least make sure I do everything I did before, and possibly more. And as I said, I'll do a video on each game tomorrow to catch back up. So obviously I didn't, it weren't out of choice why I didn't do a video for once. Obviously sometimes I'm like... Fancy having a break, but no, I don't. I don't fancy having a break because until <clears throat> May, I've got a certain like routine I want to try and get into. That should work and should help me uh, climb the ladder to success, or at least help with that in future life. Oh wow! Oh uh, yes, yeah, cool. That's my start and cave. I was like. And why is it dark? And it came up with my Stratton Cave. I was like, oh, that's where the uh, <coughs> miner was blocking off. Did I not do that? Oh, wow, it's easy anyway. You can just go blob, blob. Down. Cross. Oh, looks like I have to do this again. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, it's because I entered the chamber. That counts as, like, an, I guess, a new area. And I was like, is that to the mine cart? And I was like, no. Because I didn't actually check to the right straight away. Anyway, oh, I think, I believe these are the boulders down here. Yeah, but you have to get them on the other side. I don't believe there is anything there. And then this is to get two items here. Might as well show it off. What's this one again? Uh, nugget, there we go. As I always say, it would have been good if it was chicken. There we go. Um, now I want to go the other way. Because, you know, just explore it all. Oh, that was a lucky dodge, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, because I can go the other way, but I'll show you. Just to show it off. I don't have to necessarily do all the battles there, but I'll show it off. Yeah, I wonder what actually really is going on in Twist Man. I guess you just go through it. I'm guessing you can maybe get some items while you're there and all. Anyway, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Don't know why I went up there. Go across. Up. Go to there we go. Right. As I said, I'll explore everything to full extent. <coughs> well, not everything, but as I said, yeah, I'll just show it off. I might as well. So now I'll go down this way. Oh, I have to do this again, which is fine. And you've got another minecart man over this way. I believe it is over this way, isn't it? Oh no, it's up <coughs> to the right where the tracks is. The tracks is. I'm guessing the tracks a hint to where they could possibly be. Anyway, there's no need to do that. Basically, if you have a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash, you can smash the rocks across. It's actually very easy to get around because you can just go off screen and do it. You can do that. Blah, blah, blah. There's no need to take you. Well, talk to that minecart man. So there we go. I've shown that off at least. So see, that was much quicker than before because, as I said, there wasn't actually really anything else I could have done. Because, well, I believe that's everything I could done. Um, I would really appreciate it if any of you who have like played this game before or seen a play of it before, I really appreciate it if you know that I've missed something out that I could possibly do. Obviously, I don't mean catching steel and gigas. I believe that's the only thing I've, I've left. See, I'm not going to do that in Nimbasa City 
battle place, whatever it's called. But I could um, look around. So what I actually did to end off last episode, because it was like 45 minutes then, was actually um, enter this. And then I just did this to um, end the episode. I'll do this at the end of the episode again, but obviously it won't take as long this time. But yeah, you get this. Congratulations, because like, I just like deposited Aussie Pokemon I didn't want. And yeah. So I'm going to fast forward to speed up this process, but then I'll take it off fast forward again. When I'm satisfied with my decisions. There we go. And uh, withdraw. Gotta get Reshiram out. Got him. Oh, it's got a brave nature. I believe that's a good one to have on Kyron. Anyway, um, what do you want I don't want Reggie Ice because I've already got nice type. Get Reggie Rock. Um, I'll get Latias. There we go. Silly, I guess I could have. And obviously, I'll get Heat Run out. Once I fuse Kyron and Reshiram, because yes, I am going to do that right now. No, not that. I believe you can uh, do it to Thunderous. Thunderous and whatnot, all them lot. Apparently, you can. Give them, like, different forms. So, Kyron. Boom. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna be a boost. Anyway, yeah, now I'll get heat jump. <laughs> yep, pretty random, but someone PC withdraw. There we go. No, nope. well now that is done. Um, what save state? As I said, I don't have to do any of those save states because that's all been done. So, hey, welcome, welcome. This is Unova's challenge, the White Tree Hollow. What would you like to do today? Which area do you want to challenge? You want to challenge this area? Yes. You'll cover your Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, anyway. Um, I forgot to mention. Um. But, um. Yeah, well, I did forget to mention, but. Obviously, I hope you don't mind it being. Well, I wouldn't say it's rushed, but obviously, before I do all this, um. I hope. You have enjoyed, like, this playthrough, obviously. I've done all the legendary catching bits, all the post-game bits. Now, this is all, like, your extra things. Because, obviously, this is going to be the final, I guess you could say, main game of, like, the Pokemon series that I'm going to be doing. Because I doubt I'll be able to get any Gen 6 or Gen 7 games. So, I just thought, end the mainstream Pokemon games with a bang by doing the PWT and the White Tree Hollow. Don't know how long it's going to take, but I guess we'll see. And I hope you will enjoy me, like, doing all this extra bonus challenges because um most youtubers i see do the pwt but they don't do the white tree hollow but i feel like it could be something useful to show so yeah as i said i hope you will enjoy me taking this challenge and maybe if it does get really difficult as you get near the end of the white tree hollow i hope all the challenging moments, you'll get angsty as I get angsty and all that lot. Maybe you'll support me, maybe you'll laugh at my failures, but anyway, yes. Now it's time for the final few things to do in Pokemon White 2. And I don't know how long it's going to take, as I said, but, well, if it's a long journey, I hope you all enjoy this long extra journey. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Obviously, we're at 39 minutes, that should be fine anyway. Hmm, are you ready, a new challenger? Are you ready? Are you a new challenger? Oh my. That expression on your face is telling me that you've got no idea what to do. Alright. I suppose I can spare some advice for a newcomer. First of all, you should know that in order to complete an area in advance, you must defeat the boss trainer. You can try to seek out the boss trainer without any leads if you want. However, it's probably a better idea to challenge the other trainers first. A lot of them know quite a bit about the area and might be able to provide you with useful information. So I guess I can do all, all the trainer battles. Oh look, it's quarter past. Oh. Could I get this done in 15 minutes? I feel like I could. Anyway, battle number one. So like, all these are blocked off, so I'm guessing, because this is a tutorial one, it's like 
it's practically, well, I believe it's just like a one-way system. But I'm guessing it will become like a massive maze as you progress through it. And I'm guessing more will open up and it will keep on expanding more trainers in there. So it will take a longer time to do it. So yeah, and obviously, like other challenges, you cannot use items. I don't really use many items anyway, but obviously, this is, well, they, it's apparently called Unova's Greatest Challenge, so it will be a great challenge that I want to overcome, and obviously I'd like you to enjoy me doing it. Right, enough of me rambling on, I don't want to say a sop story of how I want you to be such great fans, God. I'm not like one of those people who make fake speeches when they win an award, like, I want to thank my father. Who I've definitely haven't seen for years. I want to thank my cousin who doesn't actually really care. Yeah, anyway, I'm just being sarcastic now, anyway. Yeah, give you a hint. Apparently the bus trainer is taking good care of a watchdog. Yeah. I'm guessing, so, I'm guessing all the time some of them will give you advice or hints on like what Pokemon they have or where you can find them. Anyway, hello newcomer, how are you doing? Take a look around this room. See that strange door? That's the gate that leads into the room where the bus trainer waits. The gate is closed right now though, so you can't go through. First, you need to find the gate trainer somewhere in this area and get him or her to open the gate for you. However, they will only open the gate for trainers that they deem to be strong enough. So it's up to you to battle the gate trainer and prove your strength. Oh, by the way, that gate trainer of this area is actually me. I'll be waiting for you somewhere in this area, so come find me. But as I said, it's pretty easy to find her because it's literally a one-way system. Because that one's blocked off, obviously. The top bit's the boss area. You've got a policeman and a chef. Actually, no, you've got the bit to the left. Whatever that area is. So, yeah, he wants you to pretend to be a blooming criminal. What a moron. There you go. He's got a lily pup, lily pup, lily pup, pup. Oh, got a message. Oh, amazing. I'm not going to check it now because I don't want to waste any. Any. Second of your time. But obviously, the only problem with not being able to pause it, if someone rings and it comes up with their number, I can't pause the video in time, can I? Oh, shame. Right, team. It might be good to be better like this. It stops me from kind of pausing it and then, like, reloading things. But obviously, sometimes it's good for if I get called to do something, but. Oh no, it did, I didn't actually mean to do it this time, but it's fine. So yeah, 42 minutes, I should be able to get it done in about 10 minutes or so. But I'm not going to worry about the time. Sometimes, as you probably know, you probably get annoyed by it. I always have a blooming tendency to just keep on checking what the time is. I just worry about whether I'm going to get it done in time, and yeah, there's no need to be like that. Anyway. I believe this is a dead end. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Obviously, I just want to do all the battles. I guess it brings more of a sense of challenge if you do all the battles. It makes the challenge more of a challenge if you, I mean, actually fight every single Pokemon. Because <laughs> obviously, there's no point leaving all the trainers just so that, I mean, Pokemon stay healthy and you only have to find the gate one and the boss one. Because, well, that's, there's no point in that. I feel like that wouldn't be... Uh, well, that just wouldn't make it challenging, would it, to be fair? Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Yeah, these are pretty low level, but I believe like the boss has like 50 frees and stuff. Maybe because it's the tutorial. I don't know if they get increasing levels a lot. As I said, I actually haven't done this before, as you know, because this is all new. But that's what's probably made this one of the better... Well, because I think... To myself that this has probably been one of the better playthroughs on my channel maybe because it has been blind and obviously i didn't know what to expect so obviously made some things harder for me well sometimes my reactions were good but i feel like when i do final fantasy 3 even though i've played that so many times i feel like it'd still be a good playthrough for you to watch because well i'll try not to get carried away i'll make it i'll make sure I don't bore you bubbling in, spatting out Final Fantasy knowledge here, there and everywhere. Obviously I want you to enjoy and play through a Final Fantasy 3. I don't want you to blooming get bored as I said, but I'll try my best. To just stop rambling on, because I know I do that. 
sometimes, but I guess that's just the way I am. And obviously, I know some people don't like people with commentary, people who do commentary because of that. Obviously, if you have any quarries or anything, or you don't like something I do, and you want me to stop it, I might stop it depending on what it is. I'm not just going to change the way I am just for a few people, but if I do do something annoying that needs to be prevented, just let me know in the comment section. Like, rambling on, I could easily try and stop. Well, not easily, because that's what I do, but yeah. Because obviously, I guess this can is rambling on. But, like, I guess, because I don't want to just, like... Well, sometimes I just ramble on because I don't want to be total silence for ages, if you get what I mean. Anyway, well, hello, we meet again. How are you doing? You know that you can't use items in here, right? Aren't you and your Pokemon starting to get a bit tired? If you are, seek out a nurse. Just talk to one of them, and the nurse should cover your Pokemon. You'll have to ba have to battle first. Well, I'll go on ahead. Don't keep me waiting too long. So I don't actually know if there's going to be multiple nurses. It seems you can only use them once. Maybe you're allowed... Well, maybe they've added, like, multiple. I don't know. But anyway. When she offers the heal, I'm not going to take it straight away. Just get it stuck in my head that I need to think tactically. So if I do it now, obviously... It wouldn't really be too bad because this isn't hard because it's just a tutorial, but I guess if I get it stuck in my noggin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing what you do once you've done this, I'm guessing Olga's grandson, because he's like the only one to complete it, I'm guessing he's like the boss or tree hollow champion or whatever you want to call it. Probably some fancy name like that. And I'm guessing you just have to fight him to end off the challenge. Because obviously... See oldest grandson, then older is like, he's better than me. He's much younger. It's up to you and him to make the younger generations uh, have great Pokemon battles and all that stuff. But yeah, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, one thing I actually don't get is why grass types are weak against flying types. I don't understand. I'm guessing if you just pick up grass and chuck it at a hawk, they're not going to really do much, but, yeah. Anyway, f second to last battle. Hey, newcomer, you finally made it. I've been waiting for you. You know what you have to do to open the gate, right? Let's get this started, then. I'll determine whether you have the strength to face the boss trainer or not. Well, I can tell you right now, bitch. I've got the strength to fight with the lions. You blew me in. Well, actually, no, I was going to say tiger then, but it was actually sad. Oh, I'm not going to give anything away, but obviously, I'm going to actually mention Walking Dead. All I'm going to say is that it was sad. Obviously, I wouldn't mention Walking Dead if you guessed it as well. The episode has been. Uh, oh, I'd seen that then, because obviously in the UK it's shown the day after. Uh, well, I believe you can watch it when the Americans do. They're like, they like off two in the morning and well, nah. I don't fancy doing that. Anyway, yes, I'll stop rambling on. But yes, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, good on you. If you haven't watched the recent episode, most recent episode, shame on you. Unless, of course, you're catching up or you've just started watching it. You'll get to it, but wow, oh, powerful episode. Oh. Anyway, I lost. You're pretty good, you know. With that kind of strength, you should be okay. I'll open the gate for you. See, I'm sorry if, as I said, there has been too much rambling on this episode, but I guess... Because I don't know what to do, you see. I don't know what to say, because I've already been done this before. Anyway, the real battle awaits you. The boss trainer is the strongest trainer in this area. The boss trainer is to the west of here. Go through the gate and give it your best. Well, what I mean by that is, obviously, I did do this before, but obviously... Couldn't really um, do much about it, as I said. Unless there is a way around it, but I just tried it, but it's fine. It's fine. It's, there's no harm in doing it again because I actually did it. Well, I think it took like an hour and five, so I've knocked off between ten to fifteen minutes. I'm guessing that's because I used Master Balls on Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel as well. But anyway, <coughs> clear my throat. Welcome to the White Tree Hollow, newcomer. Looks like the gate trainer recognised your abilities. Now it's time for me to evaluate just how good you are. 
Don't hold back against me. Let's battle. It'd have been cool if they gave uh, gave the bosses like different music, like the frontier brains in the battle frontier. Oh god, I'm trying to burp at the same time. Because <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting to see. <coughs> well, here. Because it could, it could have been potential, but they probably knew not many people would probably do this challenge. Because everybody would do the PWT and that'd probably be it. Anyway. Say boom, boom, boom. You are down. Boom, boom, boom. So obviously I'm guessing every time you go to do one of these challenges, your Pokemon will probably heal just before you enter. As I said, I don't know if the difficulty is going to spike, so... If by the next time I do a Pokemon White video, the same thing doesn't happen again. Obviously, the reaction I give up could be classic, could be comical. It's gonna be like, oh my god, level 53, and now they've gone all the way up to level 70? Jesus! Something like that, most probably. Oh, bleh. Not there, you. No protects. Back to you. So obviously, if I really wanted to, I could have just skipped this out, do PWT, and just literally try and rush the PWT to get straight into Fun Fantasies, but I can wait. Anyway, you're more impressive than I imagined. I'll give you one final hint that you might find useful. You encountered all kinds of trainers on your way here, right? Yes, because I decided to do them all. Did you notice that the information each of them knew was different? Some know where the gate trainer is, and some know where a nurse is. For example, try battling with all the trainers to find the best way through this place. Be on your way now. I look forward to hearing all about your exploits. So obviously, I'll try and do every battle, or at least every battle I come across, because if there's like multiple routes you can go, but it all lead to the same bit, it might not be physically possible to do all of them easily. But yeah, anyway. Hey, Phantom. Looks like you are completed area one. Here's a prize to commemorate your success. So obviously, this is where I ended it last time, so I might as well end it here. It don't matter if it's a bit shorter, because this is everything I needed to do. Oh yeah, you can also challenge area 2 now. Good luck in your future challenges, you come back now. Obviously, I don't know how long that's going to take, but yeah. As I said, I could have rushed through this, but I believe the only things to do now then is the White Tree Hollow, PWT, and Elite 4 Round 2. And yes, all I'm going to say now, obviously I don't really have to apologise, it's not really my fault, but obviously I'm going to apologise anyway. So apologies for not being able to show off getting Reggie Steel and Reggie Gigas. i obviously done everything I physically poss and possibly could by like using every code I could to get everything. Well, I didn't really have to do that um, in this one. But that's actually a good thing because obviously the codes don't seem to be really working. Yes, I hope you have enjoyed this journey so far. I don't know how much longer I've got left, as I said before. But I feel like these next two challenges will be two fun challenges to do. Because I don't usually do challenges like this. Because obviously, as I said, when I do the Battle Frontier, I've only ever done the Battle Frontier once and I never got all the gold medals. So I might actually do that one day. Probably won't do it on YouTube, but obviously doing a challenge like this will be the first time ever to do it. So yes, enough of me rambling on. As I said, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I will see you tomorrow when I do one Borderlands video and one Pokemon video to catch back up for the day I missed yesterday. So yeah, with a massive thumbs up. All I've got to say to you now is goodbye and good night.